Hey folks, welcome back. So this week I think is probably going to be a little bit of a shorter week. We'll probably just be working on the bridge, trying to get a little bit done with that. Uh, the next things to do on that are to start working on uh, grinding those I-beams, getting the rust worked off from that. Then we can start getting some primer on there and some paint and then hopefully start working on getting some more deck boards on this middle section by the end of this week as well. guys so today uh, we are just gonna be out here real quick uh, we got the, the primer on the I-beams here uh, yesterday or whatever day it was we were out here last and so now we need to get our top coat put on there so that that can set for another day or two before we start putting the deck boards on So today is our last day for this week uh, and we're going to start working on putting deck boards back onto this middle section of the bridge. Now before we start putting any deck boards on, uh, what we're first going to do, you'll notice, is we're going to hook another 2x6 onto the existing part of the bridge that we've already done. And the reason for that is that we're using some pipe clamps to pull in the deck boards because, you know, occasionally uh, green lumber doesn't exactly stay straight as it's drying, especially, you know, if you don't put ratchet straps or metal bands or something like that around it. It, it kind of likes to twist and bow and things like that. So, you know, we can't just lay them straight onto the, the 
deck and then just nail them straight in. We kind of have to sometimes pull them in a little to get them going straight across there. So we're going to hook this other board onto the part of the deck that we've already redone. That way we can hook one end of the pipe clamp onto there and the other one around our deck board that we're putting in so we can pull it in tight and get them straight. Now before we can start putting the deck boards on, we also have to get our treated boards that are running right on top of the I-beams, get those down first, get our holes drilled in those that our bolts go up through, and then once we get those on, then we can start putting our deck boards on top. Alrighty folks, that is going to be it for this week. Uh, we got about half of the middle section done, so next week we'll have to finish up doing that part and getting the deck boards on there. Now also this is just the first layer of boards that we're putting down on here, uh, and eventually we're going to add a second layer on top. But we're not going to do that until we get the entire first layer down just to double check that everything's hitting where it's supposed to be since these I-beams aren't exactly or at all uh, parallel or straight or anything on here. So we're just gonna get the first layer down and then we'll come through and put the whole second layer down in one fell swoop. So next week, like I said, hopefully finish off the middle section and then we'll be moving on to this last in part here. And it may be a little bit shorter than these other ones are that we've done. Um, we're gonna have to kind of mess around with that and try and figure out how far out it needs to come because without having the original cover there, it's kind of hard to tell how far out it was coming, but uh, I think it's gonna be a little bit shorter, maybe a foot less than these last couple ones we've done. So it might go, you know, an hour less of work on there. But anyways, That'll have to wait till next week. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.